bit more? Just a little bit. Yeah. That's good. It's like a glue. Want to get the cocktail as soon as it's ready? Or? One hole. Go ahead and breathe. Right here looks good. Do a quick beta sweep, pitch uh, porpoise and roll for the MMS maneuver, and then uh, we'll climb. Okay, hold my valve to the side. B twenty three, run me off over flight six zero two five zero five, approved at above one zero thousand, and six zero two five two four is hot for me. Clear. Centurion 5-1 Romeo, change to my frequency, 126.5. Traffic, 12 o'clock, 2 miles eastbound, F-16 and F-35, level 220. Okay, looks like everything's still there. Hey, 
one seven Roger caught over the tack end, then what after that? Uh, RTB to Palmdale. Descending with Victorville, correct? Okay, I'm going to clear off and low. By, uh, we can stay by Harbors Lake. My name is David Diner, I'm from JPL, and I'm Principal Investigator on the Air MISPI, Airborne Multi-Angle Spectropolarimetric Imager Instrument, which is flying on the ER-2. Air MISPI is a very specialized camera. It flies in the nose of the ER-2 and it sits right below the fuselage. The camera sits in a rotating drum, which allows the camera to point at different angles as it looks at the Earth. And it makes measurements from ultraviolet wavelengths to the visible to the near infrared. And one of the special characteristics about Air MISPI also is that it measures the polarization of the light. And we're looking at sunlight that comes in and bounces off the surface and bounces off airborne particles. And we're using the measurements of the spectral information, the angular information, as well as the polarization to infer the properties of those uh, airborne particles as part of this mission. I'm Rich Farrar from NASA Langley. I'm one of the flight scientists for the ER-2. So we've done many missions to fly above and looking at hurricanes, as well as measuring uh, trace gases, atmospheric chemistry, sort of like what they're doing here, as well as aerosol. So we've flown on many missions. The missions can range anywhere from a few hours all the way up to 10 hours mission. So today's is an eight hour mission, which is pretty standard type flight. Uh, we'll be flying up into the um, Eastern U.S. Um, along the Gulf Coast, um, so there's they can they can cover a lot of ground with the DC-8. That's one of the nice benefits of it. It's very long range, very long endurance, has a large payload, obviously. So it's really unique platform in, in atmospheric science.
my name is uh, Jacek Chowdhury and uh, I'm working with the Research Scanning Polarimeter, the RSP instrument, uh, which is a polarimeter and is currently flying on the ER2. So this instrument has been flying for over a decade and on several aircrafts we have deployed this instrument to do exactly what we're doing here again, research on aerosols and on clouds.